Did you know that Linus Torvalds, the creator of the Linux kernel, uses Fedora? Behind every Linux distro, there's a principle. I'm not talking about the tagline, but a higher aim that their respective developers try to achieve. For example, for Ubuntu, it's providing a better, free, easy-to-use OS for everybody. For Debian, it's unconditional stability. For Arch Linux, it's simplicity and absolute user control. Fedora Project is a group of free software community members distributed across the globe. They work together on and produce various open source software, one of which happens to be Fedora OS. The Fedora Project's mission is to lead advancement of free and open source software and content as a collaborative community. That's powerful right there. Fedora does not aim to provide an OS for this target base or that target base but rather aims to lead the advancements of free and open source software movement. Fedora is enthusiastically faithful to its mission. I want to bring this topic to you in three phases. Lead, open source and community. Let's dive right in. Lead. Fedora has always intrigued me. Back in the day when I used to energetically participate in distro wars, I'd find it hard to logic against Fedora because Fedora is more principle driven. And if you argue principle versus logic, principles always win. Factually too, Fedora is really a leader. Fedora led the Linux world to implement system. Even Wayland Display Server was distributed on Fedora in its early days. I suppose it was Fedora 24. Fedora even understands the urgency and the need for having one package management across all Linux distros and along with GNOME stands as the best ally of Flatpak. Of course, these are some major examples that I wanted to bring about. Fedora has been involved in a huge number of open source projects and has been working towards making a positive impact on Linux community. Number 2. Open Source If there's one thing Fedora doesn't compromise on, it's open source. Fedora is completely open source. It neither incorporates nor encourages the use of proprietary code. Let me elaborate on this point. Most Linux distros are not a cent percent open source. They do have proprietary elements such as graphic drivers incorporated in them. They are prioritizing performance and user experience. But Fedora does not consent for this trade-off in its OS. Sure, you can install proprietary graphic drivers in Fedora, but they are not officially supported nor there is a simple way to do so. I believe this stance of Fedora is very crucial for open source software community. A giant standing for such a cause enables others to believe in open source software. It also negates the idea that proprietary software is an essential part of Linux for optimal performance. Just download a Fedora ISO and check out its performance output. Number 3. Community Fedora has always given a high priority to community expectations and needs. Fedora is a true from the community for the community project. Although Red Hat is behind Fedora, it does not influence the decisions regarding the development of Fedora. Decisions driving Fedora are community centric. Many major software falling under the Linux domain have done changes that were not appreciated by the community. Unity by Ubuntu and the changes of GNOME 3 made by the GNOME project to name some. But Fedora has never brought about any changes that were criticized by the community. Never. It has always been pro-community. Fedora is fast, secure, gorgeous. It has a great support and is highly respected distro. In the developer community, it's actually revered. Do give Fedora a try. You'll love it.